Thank you for clicking on this video. You may be taking a break from your daily grind, searching for something that will take your mind off your worries, a little bit of escape, or maybe you are in search of some inspiration or some joy or just a different perspective. Today we live in a complex society and a complex world that is unpredictable, that is volatile, that is filled with unknown. Sometimes we get ourselves stuck and we feel lost, our energy is sapped. I'm just as every bit like anyone out there trying to make sense of this world, trying to find happiness, trying to find meaning as the world evolves rapidly around us. Over the years, life has taught me that despite the moments of hardships, the battles, the turmoil, the despair, the sorrow, the loss of someone dear, I tell myself, it is these experiences that guides us, that makes us who we are. Someone who feels, someone who empathizes, someone who can appreciate that only with sorrow or loss can we truly understand joy. It is these experiences that takes us on a path to understand ourselves better, I've learned to recognize them, accept them, embrace them, and I tell myself that this is yet another test, an opportunity to remind us that we must not take the little things in life for granted. Happiness is not about having more. Happiness is about appreciating what you already have. Happiness is about making the best of your God-given gifts, your body, your mind, your soul. Sometimes happiness can just come from seeing the beauty in a blooming flower, the smell of grass, and sometimes happiness is just having another day to live. Sometimes happiness is about waking up to beautiful weather or heavy rain when there is drought. Happiness can be the ability to walk when others can't, to see what others might not, to be able to speak when others can't. Happiness can be about being able to put food on the table. Happiness can be about learning a new skill. Happiness can be about making sacrifices for others. Happiness can just be about having a home that feels safe. Happiness can just be knowing that family is near. Happiness can be from just the sight of something beautiful. Happiness can come from accepting that all things in life are impermanent and so we can only make the best of what we have today. Happiness can come from anything when you unlock your mind, when you open your heart, when you can see that no matter how trivial, there is purpose, there is beauty and there is meaning. There is a saying that success is not a destination, but a journey. It is a journey that begins with a single step. Recently for me, I've picked up a new kind of happiness from an unexpected hobby in adventure motorcycling. Yes, it may seem like a dangerous hobby, but it is also very rewarding when you learn the right safety habits. At the same time, I also want to learn how to improve my blogging videos and it gives me 
a little joy when I see that my videos are getting more views. I'm not there yet, but it's an interesting journey so far learning how to create content and how to organically grow subscribers. I take some joy to know that my videos provide a little bit of entertainment, perhaps some escape and some value. I'm at a stage of my life where I like to discover what it's like to travel alone, to kind of be vulnerable to learning new things. I was inspired by others. I was a bit hesitant and fearful. Some of my friends asked me, why, why travel alone? Wouldn't I feel lonely? I told them, why would I feel lonely when the world is filled with so many people? One has to only just reach out and tap a shoulder and smile to start a conversation. It was, in a way, another experiment of what life has to offer when you are willing to try and make the best of whatever circumstances you are in. Through my solo travels, I have discovered new places I would have not visited otherwise. I have made new friends. I had the time to be by myself and absorb my surroundings fully. I find gratitude where one day I could be sitting alone basking in the beautiful view of Sydney Harbour. And on another day, I'm sitting in pouring rain in the middle of some remote village. I've enjoyed meals at fancy cafes, but I enjoy even more eating a simple meal cooked by local hawkers and experiencing their unique culture. Today I want to share my gratitude to life, to learning, to experiences, to new friends. I thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel. It encourages me to continue to create and share and I hope it will provide value. I wish all of you success and I hope no matter what circumstances you are in, you will find joy, meaning and gratitude in whatever life throws at you.